I'm coming at you today with another great, light, sweet, refreshing fruit recipe. And today we're actually working with Australian Crimson and Thompson grapes. So we've got the green ones right here, which are the Australian Thompsons, and we've got the Australian Crimson right here. What's great about Australian fruit, it's always kind of, you know, it's safe, good quality, it's sweet, and it's really healthy. So what I like to do is actually take the ones that I know are about to get really ripe and freeze them. So you get these really kind of candied, grape style things that are great snacks. So you can actually take those frozen fruit and turn it into a sherbet or into an ice cream. I like to usually start with bananas because they have a nice kind of epic creaminess about them. So we're gonna go ahead and chop up one frozen banana. That goes in here. Then I'm gonna take a nice mix of my crimson and Thompson grapes that goes into the food processor. And all I wanna do here, put a tad bit of salt a really, 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 really small amount of yogurt. This is up to you. You can actually just remove the yogurt altogether and this becomes a really kind of fresh vegan recipe. We're gonna run all this together once. You're gonna come to a point where it's just beautifully smooth. And this is the Philippines, so it's really hot, so you wanna eat this right away. That's so good. So this is good to go. So you can go ahead and just scoop that in to our bowl here. And look how that stands perfectly, just like a sorbet. And like I said, always use fruits that are kind of in season so you know what you're using properly. These grapes are actually available in all major supermarkets right now, so go ahead and get some. So I'm gonna top this with just a little bit of my toasted coconut flakes right here. You could possibly add some honey if you want to. I don't want to. I'm just gonna use a little bit of my gray salt, and that's how I make a really kind of quick, delicious, Australian grape sorbet. So if you were to actually make this recipe at home and not tell anyone kind of the ingredients that you're putting in here and you tell everyone that you kind of bought this in the store, it would totally work. No one would question you if you bought it or you made it. And no one would even question if this was healthy or not. People would think that it's indulgent, but it's really good for you. It's really healthy. It's in season, so go get some.